Previously. Big. There's a book series called Twilight. The book sucks. Stephanie Meyer. You are a complete idiot. What did you do to vampires? Don't vampires, like, burn? No, they glisten. No books on vampires. Where do people get that? If there's one thing I know about Twilight, I know that... Edward's homosexual. He's definitely an abusive boyfriend. If I ever found out my boyfriend was watching me while I slept, I'd get my phone and call the cops. Why are Bella and Edward in love? A human and a vampire. True love! Oh my god. Fucking Bella. Oh my gosh. I hate her. I want to be a vampire so I can live with him forever. Totally against feminism. There's a lot of mentions of Dinah and Ray. That's completely romantic. What's for dinner? Twilight! I like these shit! Twilight! 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 Say it's the best book ever when it actually isn't. There are better love stories than this. Guys, I'm really worried about we this. We don't care. You should care. This could fix everybody, fat ass. No way. We keep moving. I ain't asking permission. Ah, oh, this one again. Look, you got a job to do. Here. Thank you again for making 24 one of the most watched shows on television. <laughs> you are the... Previously on Prison Break. I'm getting you out of here. It's impossible. God damn it, when are they going to air new shows? It's not a big deal. We can just watch American comedy. The comedy of the season, Twilight. <laughs> Not resorting to that. Movie Twilight was released like months ago and is now on DVD. Yeah, we kind of just discovered this. Remember that, that saying that, that books are supposed to be better than the movies? The movie is just as stupid as the book, okay? It should not be a movie. It should never have been written in the first place. We can both write better movies than that. Twilight fans and Twilight haters, we all agree the movie is awful, 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 awful. Sucks. A big letdown. But, you know, you know, movies, they have special effects and everything, so I thought I'd give that a try. Me and two other guys went to go see it. Because we knew we were going to screw around. Look at this ticket. Twilight, 7.30 p.m., nine fucking dollars. I want to, I want to punch the guy who made the movie. The vampires want to kill her. Other vampires save her. There. The movie. Done. That's all that happened in the movie. I think I've seen a lot of bad movies, but Twilight, terrible. This wasn't even funny how horrible this movie was. I paid $9 to stare at a vampire who didn't burn in the sunlight and to see a man fall in love with another man. Really pretty boring. Boring, yes. It made me want to start another world war. And it's not at all a love story. Don't even kid yourself for a second that Twilight is a love story. Everyone I've talked to thinks the movie is awful the corny lines and the weird looking vampire guys who look like they're about to explode into a thousand little crystals when they're in the sun. Probably the worst chemistry I've seen ever between two actors. It's not the actor's fault. I mean, he did not write the movie ad adaptation. Stephanie Meyer, I know you were trying to make something original out of the vampires, but seriously, it's the dumbest idea, dumbest idea dumbest ever, idea. ever, ever. But dying in the place of someone I love seems like a good way to go. Who are they? The Cullens. They're all together. Like, together, together. You need to see what I look like in the sunlight. 
That's what I am. It's like diamonds. You're beautiful. But I won't give in. I know what I want. Dude, that movie sucked. Good calls up. How do they even call that a movie? Who mm -hmm. That's bullcrap, dude. Let's go get our money back. Yeah. I do not recommend this book to anybody, but if you go see the movie before you read the book, then you have a problem. Innocent people will get curious, and they will see the movie. I saw the commercials for the movie, and it looks stupid. He's like, oh, you brought a snack. The movie sucked. The book sucked. Vampires in the Twilight series are not vampires. They look retarded in the movie. They don't look like real people. Like, this is like skin color. Their skin's like gray. It's just like disgusting. The doctor who made them all vampires, their father sort of guy, couldn't look any more like a fucking vampire if he tried. Like, he looks like Tom Cruise. And it's supposed to be about vampires, not humans, acting as vampires. I'm trying to say that these vampires lived in Washington, the Seattle area, because there's so much cloud cover that they can go out in the sunlight and then the sun doesn't get through, so they're all like out in the twilight. There's that sparkling scene. I want you to see me in the sunlight. And he like psh, rips his shirt open and like... I expect them to do one of three things if they are to be in the sunlight. One, turn to a pile of ash. Nothing happens. Two, vaporizing the thin air. He doesn't look any different to me. Or three, turn into a full sun. I don't care how you do it. He sparkles? Fuck the whole sparkle in the sunlight thing, okay? What? What the fuck's scary about that? Sparkle, sparkle. I honestly thought they would cut that out because it's just so hilariously ridiculous. Okay, there was this one particular scene in the trailer, and I thought, I was hoping that it would have stayed in the trailer. Where did they get the whole kick in the apple lunchtime thing? Where, where did that come from? Just as how it was depicted in the book cover. He just kicks the apple, and it lands, and then she's like, nice, like... Dumbass. I imagine what they're gonna do for a new move, which the book cover is basically a bleeding flower. Everybody's dialogue in that movie was just so freaking flat. Uh, actresses they chose to play in this film? I mean, what? Kristen Stewart was a really bad actress. Bella had some emotion in the books, but Kristen Stewart didn't really deliver that emotion. She's a hoochie mama in the movie. Every line Kristen Stewart develops is really monotone. It's like on the same smooth transition. There's no feeling into it. Really robotic acting from both Kristen and Rob. Her way of being scary is just like, she just kicks her voice up and up. I'm not scared of you. You should be. I sparkle in the sun. Like, you know, raise it a little higher and make it a little faster, but the transition and the tone of it is still the same. I'm not afraid of you. You shouldn't have said that. The best part of the movie was when Bella was bleeding to death and quote-unquote hemorrhaging on the floor and she looked like she was giving birth. Bella and Edward's relationship isn't as horrible as it is in the book. He can't read her mind, so he wants to suck her blood more. There's a heroin for my I didn't believe for a second that they were in love. Bella is more masculine than Seth Rob and Kristen have like no chemistry in her at all. Even Twilight fans can agree that she was too masculine. Even though Kristen, for the most part, is a horrible actress, I guess that I should more credit the director and the writer. Director and the writer. Director and the writer. Hey, we want our money back. Huh? That movie sucked ass. Give us back our $18. I can't refund your money. You shot through the whole movie. That wasn't a movie. That was a bullcrap. <laughs> we want our money back. I'm not allowed to give your money back after you shot through the whole movie. You'd have to take your complaint up with the film's producers.